another grid tie inverter in here for repair. This is a Sun 300, the 10.5 to 30 volt grid tie inverter. It's one you might have seen on another channel that basically uh, almost caught fire because of an over voltage using it with a wind turbine. So let's take a look inside, see what damage there is, and see if we can repair it. All right, so I got the screws out. Let's take a look inside. I don't see any of the wires burned on the AC side. That looks good. Yeah, that's what uh, most people would expect. There's this large DC capacitor on the DC side that's blew its lid. So I'm going to replace that. <clears throat> I actually have a whole supply of those capacitors. And we'll see if we get this thing back and going again. Alright, so here's the blown part. It's 4700 microfarad, 35 volt, which is uh, slightly above the 30 volt rating of the GTI. And kind of the important thing is you got to have the uh, 105 degrees C temperature max when you use a substitution part. So I happen to have a little higher quality ones in stock here. Same rating, 35 volts. Actually says right on there, you might not be able to see, but these are 105 degree parts. Alright, got the new capacitor in there. Let's give it a try. Alright, I got the test probes connected up to my bench supply over here. Uh, I've got it just sitting at 3 volts currently. On the other end here, I've got a kilowatt meter setting on watts. So what I'll do is I'll Start to crank the volt up here. Let's get it up to like 13, 14. Now we can see we're getting good watts coming out. And I'm not sure we get the green LEDs are boogieing good. Looks like that's all it took. All right, I'm gonna get it buttoned up. I'll try it on my own solar system for a day. Make sure everything's working good and send it back. Talk to you later.